uh, it's winter here and I was at my house pushing snow and my buddy called and said, hey, you need to come over to my house and check this out and bring your camera. And when your buddy calls and says, you need to come look at this and bring your camera, you never know what to expect. I was not expecting this. Brand new Polaris Expedition. These things are so cool. So we're gonna go for a ride and then show you what it's all about. When it comes to side-by-sides, there's a ton of different options. And both Tyler and I, we have the Can MX threes, which are great for going fast and all that, but maybe we're just getting old because these are looking pretty dang cool. This is his dad's Polaris Expedition that he just got. And with the full cab, all that sort of stuff, it's becoming way more my style. And I think a lot of people will actually be looking for something more like this just because of all the features that it offers. So let's walk around and see what this all has. Now, Polaris is probably the best out of all the side-by-sides at accessorizing. This thing comes fully loaded and it, Polaris has just went above and beyond to make it so you can get anything for a Polaris from Polaris and just accessorize the heck out of these. So, full cab kit, which these doors are huge. We have a Ranger with a cab kit and the doors are not nearly this big. It makes it getting in and out so easy. But as you come in, this dash and cockpit area is different than any other side-by-side -side I've seen up till this point. The interior in here, besides the seats being like a regular side-by-side -side Razor seat, it's automotive almost. Uh, you have your infotainment center here with your screen like they've had on the North Star Rangers and all that for a while. And it comes with built-in speakers, JBL sound system all throughout. The dash instrument panel right out in front of you, which is really nice. It's not over here on the side. Gives you all your controls. Nice size steering wheel. But the best part is heated and air conditioned cab. So when it's snowing out here like this, where we're at here in Utah, you just turn the heat on and you can drive this thing wherever you want. Now, we enjoy driving our Can-Am in the snow and we put, you know, soft windows in, that sort of stuff, but it still gets pretty dang cold. And having a heater system in this, so dang nice. We were just cruising up here, talking, having a great time, and it's quiet. Well, it's quiet <laughs> for a side-by-side. -side. It's just so comfortable with the heat and everything else in here. The, the roof... You can see it's insulated and soundproofed, which really helps. Has your dome lights. Coming down in the center, you have your center console. You have power windows, <laughs> which is crazy to have in a side-by-side -side power windows. Up front, you have where you can put some more outfitter switches right down here. It comes standard with your winch. Um, you can change your ride style. It has your light bar already here. It does Bluetooth to your phone, so you can run your phone system through here. It does have your map system as well, so turn this on. You can hear the heater blowing, so we'll turn that off. But right here you see the whole Polaris off-road. I mean, this is a nice screen. This is as nice of a screen as you get in a lot of vehicles. So, you have Zach Bryan playing. Let's load engages. So right here you can have all your, your gauges, your voltage, I mean all that information which is awesome to have. Then you can also have your GPS tracking. So you, this ride command is by far the best system any side-by-side -side has. Uh, being able to track where you're at, all that sort of stuff. A lot of the other side-by-sides have tried this, like my dad's R-Max, they tried to put a system like this and it just sucks. Don't buy it on the R-Max, it's a waste of money. The new Can-Am Maverick R has something that kind of Bluetooths your phone, but from what I've seen online, it's still not up to what the ride command on the Polaris has. It's just so dang nice. 
has your rear view mirror. Um, this windshield will pop up. It's not powered like what the Can-Ams have on like the Can-Am X3, but it, you can raise this up so you can get airflow, but you really don't need it because you have air conditioning as well. Now, obviously we're, we're not trying the air conditioning today, but so nice in the summer when it's so hot here in Utah, it's hundred plus degrees to be able to go out and ride and ride in the air conditioning. Cause even your side by side just put out, puts out so much heat that riding in the summer can be a little bit taxing, especially those long, hot desert rides. I was kind of expecting this to be more like a utility machine, but as I look at it, it comes set up kind of sporty. Right down here, you have your Fox podium shocks, and I think they're adjustable, yep. They have their little adjustments here, so you can adjust for, you know, a softer ride, a sportier ride, you know, if you're working it. That's pretty dang cool on a machine like this that usually, machines with a cab like this it's the rangers or the defenders you know those kind of farm utility machines it's so cool to see putting nice suspension on a machine that can kind of do both right up here you can see full light bar also has the window wiper and i think it has the sprayer yep it looks like it has the sprayer so you can clean your windshield too that's one of the biggest problems on these side by sides is you get them dirty you turn your window wiper on, it smears whatever, and you have to get out and pour a water bottle on it to try to clear the mud off. Nice that it has a little sprayer there. I've seen some that the cab comes clear back over and then down. I like that this one has the bed on it. He's already hauled out an elk in it, so he's putting it to work pretty quick, but it's nice to have that bed. That way you can tilt it out of the way, get to your engine compartment, all those sort of things. The full cab kit looks really cool, but I think this is actually more functional. All these side-by-sides just keep on getting taller. I remember my dad's old Polaris Razor, the 800, the original. I mean, that thing was like down here. This is four and a half feet up. And it does have this nice tailgate so you can access your bed, full rear window, um, tie down points. Things that they never thought of back in 08 with those original Razors and Rangers and things like that. This thing is, is pretty dang sweet. Looking down here, of course you have the giant exhaust, but you do have a hitch here. I, it looks like as a 2000 pound uh, trailer capacity. I don't know who's putting 2000 pound trailer behind this, but I'm sure there's somebody that's doing it. They're probably putting 3000 pounds on their farm or whatever, but it does have capabilities. You could, you know, at least put a recovery point, something like that. Of course your Fox podium shocks back here. There is something, I don't know what this is, so. Now comment below if you know what the heck all this is. This is going to the, the belt and the clutches. I don't know why they have these three tube things here. I don't know what the heck this is, but you have access to your air filter right here. Super nice, super easy to get to. Of course you have your bed latch. Having the tilt beds, I, I would never use it like as a gravel mover or whatever, or at least I say I never would, but it gives you so much access to the engine compartment and so when you're doing something on this, you can actually get in there. Lock that back in place before I forget. Kara rode up in the back seat, so she has the experience. How, how was the back seat? <laughs> um, it's good. Uh, granted, I'm only 5'2", so there is ample amounts of room for me. Um, lots of room for just like your feet. I've been in others where you're just like knees together, rigid, and you have nowhere to even put your feet. So this one's really comfy in comparison to others that I've been in. Another thing I noticed is there's not a giant hump right here that you have to crawl over. Um, you actually have space to slide in and out. Yeah, a lot of like the Yamaha and Kawasaki, the rear seat's up over the rear tire, so you have that weird hump thing. Yeah, which like, if you show my legs, usually you're like this. <laughs> Yeah, it's but just really awkward to get into them. Super awkward, but this one's really nice and, you know, easily able to get in. <laughs> Slick floor, <It's> brand new. <laughs> but you can see, like, there's room for your feet. You can actually tuck a few things down below if you need to. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of room under the seat. That's awesome. I'm not straight up and down. Oh, that has to be way more comfortable. That's really comfortable, yeah. And like I mentioned, you have your own seat that you can sit in. It's not the 
one piece slide over one piece one but and they're quite comfy they got a little bit of bounce to them yeah because some are just so awful i got room for my tea yeah, <laughs> it comes with a chai tea holder. Yeah. And what are the buttons? To, oh, it's the windows it's like down there. windows and then a charger. Uh, a 12 volt plug right down there. That's yes. handy. How, was it loud? It is a bit loud. I will mention that. Um, I mean, I don't know if you were in four wheel, two wheel coming up, um, but it was a little bit loud, but nothing like our can app. <laughs> yeah, we have to wear noise canceling headphones. Could, in I it. could still hear you guys. Um, I didn't know what the conversation was, but I could still hear you guys um, just kind of chit-chatting on your way up. But, but I mean, honestly, you're not in one of these to listen to music. You're not, you know what I mean? So you have to expect a little bit of sound, especially in the backseat. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you're closer to the engine, so right. it, it makes sense, but it wasn't as bad as the Canyon. No, 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 not at all. Okay. And does it have heater stuff back here? I'm not, I didn't see any vents. So were you warm enough? Because it's cold out. It is cold, but, um, you I mean, it's all enclosed, so. It was fine? It's, yeah. It's, okay. it's just like sitting in any other back seat without, <laughs> <laughs> without vents. It was fine. I was yeah. very comfortable. So like a 2010 Chevy till 2019? Yeah. No vents in the back? Yeah, no yeah. vents. Now, if it was summer, it would be another thing yeah um, it'd be interesting to see if the air conditioner would blow it back that far right but you can roll down the windows too yeah yeah it is nice that the doors have these little stopper um, bands because sometimes they just flop open if you don't and smash and yeah i think they've thought this through i think they have yeah it's they've... not an afterthought kit put on it right right and i don't know if you mentioned the headroom in here oh, i didn't but I mean, I mean, it's not like you're that tall, I mean, but I could practically stand up in this thing and yeah. So if we'd been out sledding or whatever, you could change out of your snow clothes mm -hmm. in this for sure. And somebody tall sitting in the front for yeah. ample amounts of headroom. You're not hitting your head on the side, on the roll bar, anything like that. Okay. Let's change spots and see since I'm a little bit taller. How oh, it is. sure. Hey, I didn't hit my head. Usually I hit my head getting in these. So I'm 5'10", so not too tall, but I have ample room. This is by far the most room I've ever had in the back seat of a side-by-side. -side. And you're in your gigantic snow boots. Yeah, I'm in my muck boots because it's snowing. <laughs> uh, this is nice. I like how it sits back. Mm -hmm. So many times you just feel like you're like in the Ranger, you're just like, ugh. Yeah. This would be way less fatiguing to go on a long ride in. It's easy to get out of too. Wow, you were right, that, that is way better. And those doors shut, so nice. They're a nice solid you door. You don't have to like lift up on it a little bit mm -hmm. and jiggle it around yep. and all that sort of stuff. because. super nice. In the Can-Am, <laughs> we have to, and a lot of them, they, the doors just don't fit right. I like how they went to an automotive finish on this. Now, let's just get it out of the way. So many people are going to comment and probably already have. Why would you spend so much money on that? If you have it and you can afford it, spend it, whatever. Um, some people are going to say, get a Jeep or a Bronco, or you could do the same thing with a, a Bronco or a Jeep for cheaper, blah, 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 blah. They are different machines and they have different capabilities. We have a Bronco. It will not go where this goes. And there's some places this can't go where it goes. They're, they're different. And you're going to drive them different. They handle different. You do different things. So before you comment and say, oh, just get a Jeep. It'll do the same things for way cheaper. Buy what you want. We're just saying what this does. And if you want to drive both of them and then compare them, it'll, you'll, you'll get my point. What, huh? Plus they don't have those on them yeah <laughs> yeah and your jeep is not gonna ride as smooth as this thing does another thing polaris has done on this is they finally went to a real size tire so many brands just do a little dinky tire on this these come standard with a 30 inch and i bet you could fit 33s it would be probably pretty close but you could fit 32s easily on this 
but a 30 inch tire does what most of us need to do. I mean, 32s or 33s look really good on them, but this is going to do everything you need it to do with a 30 inch. If it's hot and you want to, you know, get more ventilation, the windshield will pop up. We are not going to be driving like this today because <laughs> it's, it's cold to say the least. But everything about this is sealed up so much better than I've seen on so many other cab kits. That is nice. And it does have a few different settings, so it'll set down a little bit lower and then all the way up. Yeah, let's see. So. Well, let's take it for a little spin and see what it's like to drive. So much better than the old canvas kit we had on the Razor. <laughs> this is yeah. just, oh, that thing shifts so much nicer. So my dad has the Polaris Ranger and this thing shifts smoother. It's always been a pain to get it in the right gears or whatever, because it doesn't have a gate shifter. This, that shifts really dang smooth. Oh, it's a little torquey. <laughs> It is really nice how it has the adjustable seat. I think the steering wheel even telescopes, doesn't it? Yeah. It does a really good job holding itself back. I just have it in high and yeah, it's, it's sport mode too. Is it in sport mode? Yes. Yeah. So it's not really trying to hold itself back or this should be where it doesn't hold itself back. But I mean, it's holding itself at 12 miles per hour and getting slower. So really nice that it will do that instead of just free wheel so much. I do think this would be very um, comfortable over a long ride. I mean, if you're going out for 50 plus miles, way less fatiguing than like our X3. Oh, sure. Just to ride in, you know, for all the passengers, everything. Because sometimes after a long ride in the X3, you're wore out. <laughs> I mean, just the noise, the you know, the driving system, you know, everything. I mean, you drive them different than you drive this, but I could see doing a long trip Not, in this without yeah. a problem. I mean, the, the headsets we wear are nice on, in those hand -hands. They get a little tiresome after when we're here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you, you, you don't need talk. it. Yeah. That is torquey, torquey isn't it? <laughs> it's almost oh. like Kara's Bronco. All day long, my dad's like, oh my gosh, I'm like, Whip you back. Yeah, it, it's torquey. If you're in a market for more of a, I guess, luxury side-by-side, <laughs> -side, you might want to check out the Polaris Expedition. I think it's the only one on the market that fits this category. I know the General is pretty similar, um, and then they have the Ranger and Defenders and things like that, but I don't think anything really comes to this level. And with this level, you're getting a high price tag. It's like 57 grand. And I know some people are like, well, that's too much for a side-by-side, -side, blah, 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 blah buy what you want. <laughs> if you can afford it, buy it, whatever. Uh, that's what this costs and it's pretty dang cool. And you know what, things aren't getting any cheaper. So heck, 10 years from now, we'll probably think 57 was a steal for it. I hope not, but I bet that's probably what'll end up happening just the way the world works. So what are your thoughts, Kara? I mean, I know you're not as into side-by-sides as I am, but. Uh, I mean, no, it's not an aggressive ride, but if you just want to get out, do a little hunting, just, you know, kind of stay on the trail more. Um, it was a fabulous ride. 
I mean, I could ride in that forever. Yeah, and winter doesn't stop you. No, 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 no. It's super comfortable. You have heat, you have air, um, y you have Bluetooth from your phone if you really want it. We're getting fancy now, guys. <laughs> But uh, no, it was a fabulous ride just to get out, enjoy myself, see the beautiful country. Thanks you guys for catching us today on this video. Remember, if you like it, thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button. We do appreciate your viewership and enjoy your weekend. So Kara, what do you think? Should we go place an order? Just one more thing. Just one more thing, right? She says just one more thing because she knows what the bank's answer will be. <laughs>